My name is Murray Ezring. I am the interim rabbi at Congregation Bethel here in Norfolk, Virginia. I'm here today with my friend and colleague, Dr. Aran Livni, head of school of Bet Sefer Shalom United Hebrew School 2.0, a cooperative effort between Congregation Beth El, Temple Israel, and Kehilat Bet Hamidrash. When we walk into a classroom at Beth El, how are we going to know that we're in a Montessori style educational setting? We are actually practicing the difference. We're sitting on low chairs here, you and I. We're sitting on a chair which is designed for three to six years old. It's children's space. It's centered on the child. And it is a prepared environment for the child to be here, to feel comfortable here, to feel oriented here. You see that everything here is a child side. We will have a corner for Shabbat, a corner for holidays, a corner for Torah, a corner for mitzvot, a corner for everything that makes Judaism. And it will be in children's size. It's all sensory material that kids can come and work. It's all going to be real things. And they can come and independently feel free, be able to move from station to station and work on the things according to their own desire and practice Judaism. And they want to touch. And they want to light candles. And to wa want to wrap fill in. They want to make blessing. They want to learn how to, to chant prayers. And they listen to prayers and they start singing. For them, it's singing. They do all these practices. They open and unscroll Torah scroll. They look at the, at the letters, also Hebrew letters. You give them cards with sandpapers and you teach them how to walk with their fingers. You know, how to feel it and to feel the, the difference here of the, the surface. We could start up this innovative project thanks to the generous support of Congregation Beth El's member, Mr. Avram Ashkenazi, who supported us with all the needs to build this program with training, with materials, with learning, with everything that we need, with advertisement in order to make um, this program uh, happening. And we couldn't be more honored than commemorating in this way the life of Patricia Ashkenazi, Avram's wife, who passed away way too early. Patricia Ashkenazi was a sponsor and patron of education. So that's the education that she always loved. And uh, as, as education is investment in the next generation. And, uh, and they're pure, there's not, no effects from outside, so the education, they absorb it, and from that point on, they can build it and develop it for themselves for their future life. If it's personal, if it's professional, if it's social, uh, but, but uh, she loved kids. She loved kids, she had a big heart, she loved kids, she had a big smile, so kids loved her. And uh, that was Patricia. So I'm, I'm glad that we can, we can do the Montessori project for Sunday schools. And uh, hopefully it's gonna be a, a start for some new wave of, of education in, in conservative synagogues and other too. Uh, to, to make the kids be eager to learn, to, to, to see what it is Judaism, to practice it. I love it because it is a lot of hands-on 
texts where they learn through not only books and notebooks and uh, traditional learning, where they learn through hands-on, doing stuff. We use Play-Doh, we use um, crayons, markers, stickers, everything that we can utilize that they can learn from it and make it fun and they come in happy and enjoy every moment of it. So I'm super excited to be part of it. I chose to join the crew because the idea behind it, it's amazing. And I think that with time, if we will continue with it, I think it can bring a lot of good to the community, to the school, and for those kids who are the most important thing that are our next generation. I am a mother of two of the boys who will be helping to pilot this program. And in its first year, it's extremely successful already. In just a few classes, it's been amazing to see what they came home with, um, the excitement that they are bringing with their learning, with the songs and the canter. So of course that makes me happy. Uh, let me underscore that this is innovative. Uh, there is no other supplemental Jewish school in the country that is doing this. Our children learn best by doing, and the Montessori model focuses on how one learns by doing. Chaye Sarah allows us to meld that with all the Jewish values that we are here to help impart. We want to be educating not only our younger children, pre-Bar and Bat Mitzvah age, in the first steps in Judaism. We also want to be a force in the ongoing education of teenagers who right now are the teen aides in this school. We want to be a force in deepening the Jewish engagement of their teachers who are adults who've already committed to an engaged Jewish life. And ultimately we want to see all the families of the school community and the community as a whole most broadly construed as being proud, learned, and also deep level Jewish men and women. So I have full confidence in the program and I'm sure this will be a pilot program for all conservative synagogues and others in the United States. So Patricia's name will be carried from Virginia to, to other states as well.